And for the latest on the health protocol implementation at the Istiklal Mosque, we have our very own reporter, Aria Siddhartha, standing by on the location. Aria, so um, what do you have for us today? Right. So as you mentioned before, the holy month of Ramadan is right around the corner and the largest mosque in Indonesia, uh, Istiklal Mosque, is celebrating the holy month by allowing 100% full capacity once again. Now this is something that the mosque has not done for the past two years ever since the COVID pandemic has started because obviously you cannot have so many people in one uh, spot, especially in these uh, religious areas. So, um, but. However, as recent COVID numbers have dwindled so far in the last few months, um, the mosque has decided to finally open back up to 100% capacity. Now, not only that, but social distancing measures have also been um, much, much reduced uh, as the mosque plans to lay out the carpets for all of the floors in the buildings and social distance barriers are also removed. Now, the mosques also are going to open up events, like you've mentioned, such as breaking the fast together with all the mosque goers. And this is something that the mosques have done many times in the past, but have not been able to do so uh, because, of course, of the COVID pandemic. But now um, they've decided they're confident enough in to be able to do that once again. So that's a good news for all the mosque goers here who want to break fast with all their other fellow congreg congregates. So further efforts to ensure the safety of the coming Ramadan has also been implemented. For example, the uh, local street vendors that are usually around the surrounding area around the mosque uh, have been are planned to be relocated to other areas in order to uh, ensure the safety and the, um, the cleanliness and the sterility of the area. So these vendors will be relocated to areas in Johar Baru and also in Palmera. Nasruddin, the Grand Imam of Iskwal Mosque, also assured the mosque goers that uh, all the facilities for uh, proper health protocols have been uh, made available to everyone. Here is what he had to say about that. Suci Ramadan ini dimaksimumkan, dioptimalkan, tapi dengan catatan tetap memperhatikan uh, protokol. Ya. Protokol itu antara lain yang kita akan terapkan istiqlal, ialah uh, masker, tetap wajib masker seluruh jamaah kami akan mempersiapkan masker cadangan seandainya ada di antara mereka itu lupa atau rusak maskernya tapi petugas-petugas kami semuanya itu akan sangat disiplin menyerukan kepada seluruh jamaah dari datang ke masjid sampai pulang tetap menggunakan masker ya kemudian yang kedua juga protokol kesehatan ini cuci tangan kami siapkan seperti sebelum-sebelumnya ya ya kemudian juga Semuanya harus steril, ya. disemprot sebelum dan sesudahnya supaya tidak ada uh, apa ya virus-virus yang bisa bermalam. So have we seen uh, in the Istiqlal area right now? Health protocols are quite in place. Everyone is abiding by the health protocols, wearing masks, and there are also several uh, sinks available to uh, properly wash your hands. Uh, and aside from that, these measures are also in place in anticipation for the various notable guests who might arrive for during the holy month of Ramadan. For example, ambassadors, ministers, and even the president, for example, who uh, often does this during the month of Ramadan. So hopefully for all celebrate, uh, so for everyone celebrating Ramadan, we hope that um, those who are coming to Istiqlal can enjoy their Ramadan safely and without any fear of COVID. Back to the studio. All right, thank you very much, Arya, for your report. There